But I'm having family problems right now. I'm really having family problems. Me and my dog is going through. I got a little shit suit. He's mad at me, I'm mad at him. I'm mad at him. Cause one day I got home and my dog had dudes all on my bed. Just do, do. All on my bed, right? So I'm thinking an eye for eye. So I went to where he slept that night. That's right. That's right. Jay going through a phase, yeah, phase one. Global domination, nigga. Step in the booth, put our mixtape, numbers went up, nigga. Y'all looking at me like, I ain't seen him on shit. <laughs> this nigga lied to me, it's what the fuck he just did. Feeling good, man. I just celebrated my daughter's 10th birthday. You know what I'm saying? Name's Jai. My, my daughter's favorite thing to do is to watch white shows from the 90s. Now, now the issue with this though, though, she feel like she could talk to me the same way these white kids be talking to their family members on these shows. So when she get mad with me, she's like, stay out of my life, dad. I hate it here. I'm like, I will bust your ass, okay? This, this is not full house, I don't know what the fuck you think. She's like, I hate it! I'm like, I will drown you in this tub, all right? You better go watch Moesha or some nigga shit real quick. But, I, but I'm getting nervous because my daughter's 10, right? And she's about to start dating in a few years. I don't know if y'all can tell, I'm little. I am 5'6". So I'm starting to get nervous because I'm like, what I'm going to do when she start bringing home her boyfriends and they bigger than me? You know, like, what the fuck I'm going to do to these niggas? She bring home some big nigga named Carl. What the fuck I'm going to do to Carl? I'm like, hey, dog. Have my daughter home by midnight. He like, we fucking tonight. I'm like, oh, oh, oh God. Oh, I see y'all in the morning. What if Carl beat my ass in front of my daughter? What the fuck I'm gonna say to her? I'm like, hey, Ja, go to bed. She like, don't make me call Carl to come around here and beat your ass again. I'm like, I hate it here. So I was, I was the star of a bunch of shows that nobody saw. Um, yeah, I was the star of Rush Hour, the TV series. Y'all didn't even know they did it, I know. This is what I learned from being a star of a TV show. I realized women in LA do not give a fuck about dudes on TV. Like, they don't give a fuck, they just care about status. Okay, and if you don't got the right status, they not fucking with you. I remember Rush Hour came out, and oh, I thought I was big shit popping. Oh, I'm trying to holler at a girl on Sunset Boulevard. I walk up to her, I'm like, uh, excuse me. My name's Justin Hires. I'm uh... I'm the star of Rush Hour, the TV series. <laughs> oh, a CBS. She was like, CBS? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, my grandparents watch CBS. You, you an old antenna ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not an Avenger, then get the fuck out my face. <laughs> Bye. Very disrespectful. Now y'all gotta understand something, I'm from Florida. Okay, in Florida, I am a home, that's right, that's right. In Florida, I am a hometown hero. In LA, I ain't shit. Let me tell a girl in Florida I'm on TV. What, you on TV? Oh my goodness, I said if I ever met anybody. <laughs> <laughs> like a Capricorn. <laughs> I'ma be honest with y'all, I was on network TV for the last five years. I'ma be honest with y'all, I did not become uh, a multi-millionaire. However, I, I did become a multi-thousandaire. Thank you, thank you. You gotta take the wins where you can get them. So like, when you're a multi-thousandaire, you can do some cool shit. Like I was able to fly my whole family down to uh, Disney World in Orlando on vacation. I'm flying first class. <laughs> They fly coach. <laughs> I got us a Disney VIP tour guide. At Disney World, you can hire an employee. They take you, you get to skip all the lines for all the rides at Disney World. Oh. <laughs> Thousandaire. <laughs> and I had a girl ask me one day, she was like, well, why didn't you just do the fast pass? I said, no, peasant. <laughs> this is beyond the fast pass. <laughs> you broke bitch. There is no line. <laughs> with the VIP tour guide. And when I tell you the look, 
of how angry all these people were to see 20 niggas skipping them in line. Oh! All these people was angry. Yo, and we were super black that day. Oh, we were super black that day. Yo, we had on hoodies. We had on Black Lives Matter t-shirts. We was crimp walking to the front. We were skipping past everybody. Cripple kids, get your bitch ass out the way. Make a wish kids, get your hoe ass out the way. Mickey Mouse, fuck you, Mickey. Mickey was like, oh no, oh no, oh God. I did some other multi-thousandaire shit. I flew my whole family out to Hawaii on vacation, right? Cool shit to do for your family, right? Um, they were still flying coach. Um, <laughs> I stayed at a beautiful resort. Now at this resort, you could swim with dolphins. And my daughter was four at the time. She's like, daddy, daddy, I wanna swim with the dolphins. I said, baby, whatever you want, you got. So I went to go talk to the dolphin instructor and she was like, it's just a thousand dollars per person. I said, well, bitch, stop. For a thousand dollars, I better be able to fuck that dolphin. You know what I'm saying? Like, what that blowhole do, my nigga? Like, kick, 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 kick. For a thousand dollars, that dolphin better eat my ass. Just kick it, kick it, oh shit. Kick it, oh shit. Kick it, bitch. Kick it, bitch. Kick it, bitch. You got me breaking furniture, bitch. God damn. I give up. I'm frozen. <laughs> Arrest me, bitch. Kiki, Kiki. Arrest me, bitch. <laughs> and that wasn't even the dolphin making that noise. That was me. Kiki, 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 Flipper. Ah! I'm returning the favor. Ah! You like that, bitch? You like that, bitch? You like that, you dirty bitch? You stink. Stink smelling like fish, bitch. Tuna, bitch. Old salmon, salmon smelling, bitch. Grouper. <laughs> yeah, you like two fingers, don't you? I got a Vince Carter, that bitch. Bitch, you like what the fuck? Flipper, yeah, I can fuck this shit. Now, I did a movie called 21 Jump Street. Yeah. Now, I see y'all looking at me like, who the fuck was you? I got punched in the face, my nigga, my white nigga, my white nigga. The fuck I'm talking about? I was the gay black kid to get punched by Channing Tatum. Oh, oh, that is him. You punched me because I'm gay. <laughs> so I'll be honest with y'all, I was hesitant to take that role. I was hesitant because in the black community, if you play gay, you just gay. Okay? Yeah, niggas don't know what acting is. If you play gay, you, every nigga in here think I'm gay for real. They think I'm gay for real. He think I'm gay for real. Like, niggas don't know what acting is. So yeah, black people be like, you did that too good. You, you, <laughs> nah, you did that too good. It was too believable. It was too, ain't nobody that good of an actor, my nigga. No, no. I see how you got the role, my nigga. I see how, nah, it makes sense how you got the role, nigga. You went from flipper to niggas. I know I see what the, I'm trying to see where I want to go with this, with, with the next part of this. <laughs> Do it. Do it. All right, you asked for it. So, I'm glad I was a part of inclusivity in Hollywood. I feel like they should be even more inclusive. I feel like there should be inclusivity across the board, like in all factors of entertainment, like, a, like, like a video games. Yeah, I said it. I feel like there should be gay characters in video games. Could you imagine that shit? She sneezed and shit. <laughs> she like, no. <laughs> but I feel like there should be gay characters in video games. Could you imagine that shit? Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, their powers? Huh? They'd be on some shit like this. They'd be like, get over here. Yes, bitch. <laughs> they like, finish him. Fatality. <laughs> Tyrone wins. <laughs> I'm glad y'all pushed me to do that one. <laughs> Fucking peer pressure ass crowd. <laughs> can, can I open up to y'all for real, for real?
It's tough. <laughs> it's tough being a faithful celebrity. It's tough. <laughs> the fuck? Y'all some disrespectful ass niggas. Y'all looking at me like, who the fuck is this celebrity? It's me, you fucks, me. Me and all of us other fucking celebrities. It's fucking tough, goddammit. Thousand air shit, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all, y'all gotta understand this. Women, it's easy for y'all to turn down dick, right? Chris Rock even once said, like, women, y'all get offered dick all the time. And it's true. Every woman in here has been offered dick at least nine times today. Yeah, yeah, I know, because I've been offered dick at least two times today. So I know. This is how hard it is to be a faithful celebrity. Beyonce got cheated on. Beyonce, cut the shit. Cut the shit. You trying to end up on TikTok? Shut, cut the shit, nigga. Now you said you was a black dude. Cut the shit. You not gonna disrespect Queen Mia. Taylor Swift fan. Boo this man. Boo. You got your viral moment, bitch. How dare you? Now let me get back to my goddamn point. The greatest vagina to ever exist. Got cheated on. Do y'all understand what the fuck I'm saying? The greatest vagina to ever. Uh, now I see some of y'all women in here like, I mean, my pussy good too. I don't know if she got. I don't know if she got the greatest pussy. I mean, my pussy. I got Taylor Swift pussy. I mean, I don't know what the fuck. Y'all do not got Beyonce level pussy in here. Okay, if y'all had Beyonce level pussy, y'all would be where Beyonce's at. Y'all got nine to five level pussy in here. <laughs> All right, if some of y'all unemployed, y'all got unemployed level pussy. Okay, Beyonce pussy is terrific. It's the real, I know it is. I guarantee you when Beyonce has an orgasm, goddamn sparklers and confetti shoots out of pussy. I guarantee you when Beyonce have an orgasm, a, a marching band come out that motherfucker like, dun, 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 dun. Hey, and not just a regular marching band, an HBCU marching band. Stop the yard, come out, drum line come out of her pussy. Let me tell you something, this joke isn't gonna work in this crowd. I'm not gonna preface it with that, okay? White people. <laughs> White people love dogs, right? True? True, right? Yeah, white people love dogs. If dogs were being murdered at the same alarming rate as unarmed black men, there would be a lot more boycotting in America. Every Whole Foods would be on fire right now. True shit. But then the roles would be reversed. Because now white people be running up to black people. Oh my God, did you hear? They murdered another dog. And now the roles will be reversed. Because now black people will be like, well, what did he do? <laughs> what did he do? Just need all the information before. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. He was minding his own fucking business. He was, what? Well, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What type of dog was it? <laughs> he was a pit bull. God, uh, I don't know. They know him to be aggressive. They wear hoodies. I don't fucking, I don't fucking know. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. They got it on camera. They fucking got it on camera. All right, all right, let me look at it. Let me look at it. Here, look. All right, all right, let me see, let me see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, okay, see, right here they told him to sit. He didn't sit. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Dogs lives matter. I mean, well, I thought all animals matter, but whatever. Um, so, that being said, how do we stop unarmed black men from getting murdered? How? He said, it's the wrong guy. He's like, I don't fucking know. How do we stop niggas from getting murdered? Get them dogs. Get them dogs. You got damn right. We give all niggas puppies. We give all niggas puppies. So when they get pulled over by the cops, the cops are like, get out of the fucking car. You're like, hey, 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 man. Did you meet my shih tzu, Max? <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck. We put him in the front seat and let his head stick out the window like we do. Fuck it. Get out of here. I'm going to tell you all this story because I ran into Chris Rock today. I told myself 
16 years ago, I wanted to be a stand-up comedian. So I moved out to LA to pursue the dream. When I decided to go to a comedy club in LA, the very first comedy club I ever went to, and the very first comedian I ever seen live on stage, Chris Rock. Crazy, right? Like I just walked into the club, just so happened, Chris Rock is on stage performing. I was like, holy shit, this is meant to be. I'm supposed to be here. Like, this is, this is fate, right? So I thought, like, I gotta go say what's up to Chris Rock, right? Chris gets off stage. I rush up to Chris. I'm like, yo, man, my name is Justin Hires. I think you're hilarious. I think you're a comedic genius. I even had like your pictures on my wall growing up. And I want you to know, man, I look up to you. Chris said, man, I don't give a shit. <laughs> man, I don't know you. Don't know you, man, 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 man. man what type of grown man? Oh, his walls? I mean, it sounds suspect to me. Talking about you love me. I mean, goddamn nigga, do you wanna eat my ass? Do you wanna eat my ass? I said, well, goddamn, I didn't know it was an option. <laughs> you know, but I'll think on it and I'll get back to you. 10 years go by, I get cast on MacGyver. I end up knowing the comedian that tours with Chris Rock. He invites me out to a show. I take my wife. I got a black wife. Just got, you gotta let the black people know. <laughs> so me and black wife driving to the venue. The whole time we driving to the venue, she telling me how much she hate Chris Rock. Fuck Chris Rock, fuck Chris Rock. I don't wanna see Chris Rock. I want to see Chappelle in your face, in your face. Ah, 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 ah. That's who I want to see. I said, why have you never told me you did such an amazing Chappelle impression? She said, you never asked, nigga. You never asked. Ah, 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 Chappelle show. I said, you need to calm the fuck down. We pull up to the venue. Me and black wife have front row seats, y'all seats. Chris Rock comes out. Chris Rock starts delivering some of the funniest fucking material you will ever hear in your life, right? Then in the middle of his material, he locks eyes with my wife. She starts giggling. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Now he's doing his material, but in my head, all I'm hearing is, you want some dick? You want some of this rock hard dick? That's all I'm here. After the show, he invites me and my wife out to dinner, right? We had to go to a speakeasy. Y'all, I didn't even know what the fucking speakeasy was. So you gotta go to some secret location. You gotta knock on the door. You gotta say the password. Me, black wife, we go to the door. We knock on it. We say the password. We walk in. When we walk in, white people everywhere. <laughs> the password to get in, Wakanda forever. <laughs> I said, what type of get out shit is this? Me, black wife, Chris Rock, we the only Negroes in there, right? Chris Rock is the nicest fucking comedian you will ever meet in your life. This motherfucker is a saint. He talking about old Saturday Night Live episodes. He talking about touring with Eddie Murphy. He talking about Pootie Tang. This nigga's incredible. But the whole time, I'm jealous. Cause he talking to my wife and not me. And she just giggling the whole time. <laughs> Oh, Chris, okay, I'm thinking, bitch, tell him what you told me in the car. <laughs> tell him, do your Chappelle impression. So now I'm pondering, right? I'm, I'm, I'm in a real predicament because I'm thinking, I'm like, is Chris Rock famous enough to fuck my spouse? <laughs> what y'all think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> you know, every, every celebrity not famous enough to fuck your spouse. Like Flavor Flav can't fuck my spouse. Okay, Channing Tatum, you got a shot. Barack Obama, right this way, Mr. President. <laughs> Y'all gotta salute that, that presidential dick, all right. You know what I'm saying, I gotta ask him questions. I'm like, oh shit, two times? Oh shit, nigga, oh shit. Finally, I had enough. I said, God damn it, Chris. Look at me. I hate it here. I went out. And I bought a whole new outfit for you, nigga. And you're not paying me no attention. He said, I'm sorry, man. It's just your wife so beautiful. Your wife. I said, keep my wife's name <laughs> out your fucking mouth. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry, man. He said, I'm sorry, man. He said, but I'm having deja vu.
I'm having deja vu. He said, have we ever met before? I said, funny you should ask. 10 years ago, we met at a comedy club. And you asked me if I wanted to eat your ass. Well, I've had some time to think on it. And if you go to Hawaii, I know a dolphin that'll do it for $1,000. I'm out of here, y'all. I'm Justin Hires. Thank you, thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Thank you. The dolphin uh, And the Chappelle. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Justin Hires. Yeah, thank you. Gonna make it after all. Da, 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 da.